Hi everybody, Don Peterson coming to you from the Swing Factory Golf Studio just north of Atlanta. Uh, just in the last few days I've had some of, uh, you know, it's funny how you get different types of golfers coming in and different problems, but just in the last few days I've had three or four players that were really steep and they're really strong. So um, I've, I've had, you can see this uh, mat that I have here where people hit, and there's a little red T here. And towards the back of the mat, it's about six or eight inches, but I've had people hit, and you can kind of see right back here, it's almost, they, they've torn the mat because they've gotten so steep, and that's about, that's a good six or seven inches behind the, behind the tee. So they get so steep back here, and then their downswing is so abruptly down, and then they're strong, so it's like they, they hit the mat, and they, they can tear up the mat, and some of them, I, I fear, are gonna injure themselves because they're, they're just, they're hitting, hitting downward so violently. So I, I, I had uh, to pull out my bow and arrow analogy for, for these guys because I, I had to explain to them, I said, look, I said, it's, it's kind of like instead of shooting, shooting your arrow towards the target, you know, if I were gonna aim at the target there, I'd wanna line up my bow and pull back and shoot it that direction. But instead, what they're doing is, it's, it's almost like they're pulling, they're pulling up and shooting the arrow into the ground. It's like they're so steep and then they're throwing it straight down into the ground. They have no chance of going through the golf ball towards the target. So just this simple thought um, kind of helped uh, two, out, two out of the three guys. The other guy I had to work with him a little bit more because he just wanted to swing back too far. But if you can get the concept of instead of pulling your arms up, you know, instead of lifting your arms up and pulling bowstring up, feeling like you're pulling your arms more away from the target. So, you know, in this case, let's say I'm going to uh, set up and pretend like I'm hitting this direction instead of towards the, towards the launch monitor here. Um, instead of lifting my arms up like this, I want to feel like I'm stretching my arms wider. So the feeling of having them over here and then firing everything this direction helped both of these guys, okay? So instead of lifting up and then firing down towards the ground, they started feeling like they're stretching wide, like pulling back on the bowstring, and then throwing it this way with their body. So, so that's where the whole, you know, your body's a bow and your arms are O's. So during the backswing, you gotta feel like you're stretching this way, throwing that way, all right? So here's what it would look like. Instead of lifting with my arms, I'm gonna feel like I'm stretching more away, and you can see how this turns my shoulders more. So again, this is a, it's a really good um, thought or concept for those of you who are trying to get your power by lifting up. Try to get your power by winding wide, stretching wide, and throwing more towards the target, okay? Um, this will shorten your swing, uh, but it also create a little bit bigger shoulder turn. Hopefully you'll use the ground. You'll feel more torque in your trail leg. So. This is mainly the concept. I've got other um, um, videos and drills to show you how to use your feet and legs and things like that, and maybe a back turn. But just you know, try this concept next time you go out there. Instead of trying to lift your hands as high as you can, feel like you get them as wide as you can, and then throw the, throw the towards the target instead of down into the ground where you can injure yourself, especially when you're hitting off mats. I mean, this is not just in here. We're talking about there's mats at driving ranges on concrete. And if you're hitting down, you're jarring your elbows and your wrists. Um, the better players in the world, it's like they're, everybody's talking about shallowing the swing now. So when you hit a shallow shot, you're not going into the ground very hard with the club. In fact, you're going right through the golf ball. And um, what Mo Norman used to say, bacon strips, not hamburgers, okay? So stop going so steep, hitting hamburgers, and start going shallow, and just hit thin bacon strip type divots. All right, so for more tips like this, uh, come back and uh, swingfactory.com is my website or you can like and subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for any other videos that are coming out shortly. Thanks. Come back and see us. Oh, hey, you looking for a game? Come on, you can join us. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and ring that bell and we'll notify you next time we come out for a game.